so so that so that's my point like the system that we in right now is not perfect by no means right um so then therefore we can either try to change it you know based on incremental you know in, incremental changes right or we can just you know have that defeated mindset and stuff like that thinking that well you know what we can't do nothing about it so you know i screw it marriage is horrible blah 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 so then therefore we're building let's say you know we're building our wealth we're building our whatever the case may be and we have nobody to pass that on to that wealth so then what's the point of actually um you know um working hard so when there's you know i don't have a family so screw it so then we we tend to we don't realize the effect or implication of what the positive changes that what marriage may also have on certain men right so we, we tend to only look at the negative but not the positivity mm, yeah. so yes there's you can always bring all the stats example but the same stats mm. would also tell you that kids that actually grow up in marriage tends to less likely be uh you know be uh you know living below the poverty line mm. you also you know the staff would also show you that you know married men tends to make more money than uh, um than single men because mm. they now have a more of a motivation something to to make that extra money for them. right right so right. all and these if little don't, and if you don't that, you know, they go to jail <laughs> Oh, uh, all right. No, let, me, no, let, me, no. let me ask you something. I'm going to let me, let me you something. Go to the extreme, dude. Yeah, let me <laughs> ask you something now. You, you're, uh, you see, the whole point is, is the what I hear mostly from MGTOW guys is, is the law, the law, the law. Right yeah, now, the law, the law, the law is, the law right, is the think, single you know, strongest on. point that MGTOW bring oh, up, and it's irrefutable. Point. Open the book. Right. Let me finish my point. Okay. All right. We they, we talk about they talk about the law. OK, and they we all understand that you have a number of women who use the law to their advantage against their men. Many of them do that. Not all of them do. But my point my point to you is in another in a different country, though, where, where the, the laws are, are slanted in men's favor. And and in those countries, those women have a more traditional mentality in a mindset. What do you um Okay, because you, I don't think you can you could uh, use that argument as far as being so much in fear of, of the law being used against you. So, what what do you think about those situations or those marriages? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can you can you re ask your question? Or I, I just didn't understand it fully. Okay, all right. Um, in this in this country or in Western Westernized societies, we know that the, the laws are uh, favor women, and and women use those laws against their their men in many cases. Okay, not all of them do it because I, I have exp I've experienced where, where some women don't don't do this do it all of them don't do that but it's common for them to do so now in another country where the law is in favor of uh, favors men and women are at the disadvantage you you don't you, you don't have that you don't you wouldn't have that same fear mm -hmm. that you're expressing in westernized culture with those women would you as far as marriage is concerned uh, no I guess I wouldn't all right, and so then you recognize that there are 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 good women out there. What is a good woman to you? Because you you said that you recognize that they're they're rare, but what is a good what would be a good woman? Uh, that's a that's an excellent question. Uh, I would say a good woman is someone who uh, who is honest, mm -hmm. um, who is in line with the truth, mm -hmm. and then ultimately, um, if if she's going to be a good woman in in marriage. Mm -hmm. uh, she definitely submits to her husband, and I use the word submission on purpose. That the man is the leader; right. it's right. not a democracy. Right, I agree. Now, 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 let me ask you this: Will a, a good woman, as well as a good man, be tempted in in the, during the duration of their their marriage to do something sure. that that's wrong? Sure, of course. Right, we all get tempted. All right, and you agree that we, you know, we're not perfect. We do do things that are wrong, but. You know, some some will will uh, may not go so far as others. You know, so what I'm trying to say is, you you will have a a, a good woman. It's possible for for her to start out as a good woman, who 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 is uh, fits the description of what you described, but then conditions may may come about even in a country that favors the 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 law favors the man, in which she may be tempted to do him wrong, or no longer be you know supportive, submit, submit, you know, submit or whatever. She, she's going to be she may be tested and that, that may come from him that may come from outside sources 
You okay. Know? So marriage, it, marriage itself, yeah, you're taking a risk. It's risky, but especially in Western Western culture, like you, you know, you keep expressing that you know you can go to jail. I mean, all those things are true. I mean, I agree. That's why, you know, I, you know, that's why I realized that's I'm not going to do it again. Right, right. So I'm not interested, um, it, especially in this country. Now, if another country, I would be more tempted, you know. But I know what, what marriage involves, and right now I'm just really tired anyway, <laughs> you know. So, so even with a good woman, I'm just, you know, just tired. But it's not, it's not a jab at, against the woman at all. And then also, I'm not perfect either. So it's like, you know, I don't want to make somebody else miserable either. So it's like, we have peace. Um, I just, I just don't like where, where relationships people are, you know, can end up miserable. You know, I like seeing people uh, happy, enjoying life, and it's just, it's just sad. Uh, to me that we have uh, the conditions in marriages that we do because I, I just think it's it's a beautiful thing. You know, relationships are a beautiful thing. You know, when, when we, um, it, just like you, you spoke about the woman that, that you uh, had love for. I mean, that's a great feeling, you know, and, it, and it's especially great when, when you have that, that person return back your same affection, you know, it, when the feeling's mutual. It's, it's the greatest thing in the world, I think, you know. And if you... I you, agree. It was wonderful. Uh, yeah. You know, but she was she was a very... She was a very, very conservative girl. She came from a very conservative family, mm-hmm. and um, you know, and yeah. that was over in South Dakota. You know, people are very conservative over there. Okay, um, yeah. I yeah. currently live in Chicago. Chicago is like one of the epicenters of like leftist, uh, mm-hmm. socialist, feminist, you know, postmodernist yeah. thinking. Yeah. So, what are you gonna do? You said that's where you are now. Yeah, yeah, I'm born and raised in Chicago, but uh, oh, I went okay. to university. I went to university out west in South Dakota. That's real. Okay. It's real country over there. Okay, you know, I, I can definitely understand your perspective. You know, you've been born and raised in Chicago. Yeah, <laughs> yep. I can understand. Well, yeah, I understand you more now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dude, it's, check this out. Right, it, it's uh, like if he was like, in the California area and stuff like that, he probably would have the same exact you know position as well. You know, very mm-hmm. hardcore. You know. Right. And, and I get it, like, you know, when you live in, when you're surrounded by a liberal women, like, you know, extreme, to the extreme point, mm. I do get your perspective. It's easier to yeah. be like, God damn, that, yeah. I, yeah. I can't deal with these bros. <laughs> right. Trust me. And, yeah. and it's like, I'm not the type that I would actually try to tell people they should get married, right? That That's not mm. me at all. Right. Because like I said, I don't believe that marriage is for everybody. Right. That's right? true. Yeah. And, um, it, and now... The question that I have for you, right, um, Miktal, say that you, let's say that, okay, hyperbically, you know, you 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 are in a relationship. So what sort of sway do you believe your woman would have in that partnership? Like, and, and, I don't and, understand and, you. What sort of way okay, do you no, mean? Like, I'm going to give you an example, right? So let's say that, you know, I'm, I'm the main breadwinner, you know, I'm the one that makes most of the money and stuff like that, right? So then financially... I'm in charge of that, so I'm I'm the one that dictate. Okay, so what, um, you know, what a percentage goes towards the household and stuff like that, right? But once I, you know, once I give the portion that goes towards the household, so like that, right? I don't, you know, that's now my wife's responsibility to actually budget what she has. Now, do you believe that? Okay, let's say you are in a relationship and stuff like that, right? So, and what, and uh, what, por- uh, in 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 what portion? in that relationship that do you believe that your woman now has the say in you know let's say you know when it comes to you know buying things for the house when it comes to let's say uh what type of carpet you know she should choose and stuff like that or what what type of things that you would let her have her way and what type of things that you would not move on good question um i mean are we talking about money or are we talking about you know carpet i mean we're talking about everything because the relationship yeah. there's so many aspects in a relationship right right you know? uh wow you know i i guess i guess i don't know that's uh that's a good question i guess uh that's I, what's, what's that's I definitely what, think I, I definitely think that when it comes to the money uh the man should i, I mean i'll just come out and say it i mean i i'm uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm sexist against women, but I, I am a I am a chauvinist. I'm definitely a chauvinist. Uh, a chauvinist is is a person who believes that uh, essentially that that men are just uh, men are just superior to women. 
uh, in so many ways that it's just fair. It's just fair to say. It. It's just fair to call it out. You know. Okay. Yeah. Sure. If she wants. Uh, Do you believe? <laughs> if she wants a carpet. Yeah. Yeah. Get her a carpet. No problem. Uh, you know. Do you believe that you are superior or in knowledge when it comes to, let's say, the nurturing aspect of a relationship? When it comes to the nurturing aspect of a relationship, um, I guess yes. I would say yes, uh, and I would back that up using, uh, well, for example, we know because science can tell you, like, that. Not using science, because you know you can always come up with some stats and all that. Stuff. I'm talking like personal no, no, experience. No, no, but, but it, see, that's the problem. It's like you, you, you know, it gets to the point where the the, the facts are irrefutable. It, when w w look what happens when, and, and MGTOW or Red, Red Pill guys, they, they all know this. What happens when all these children are raised in single family homes? Uh, that, you, you don't you know, create single family homes. That's why marriage. You know, is a better alternative. Right. For sure. See, see, for see you, you are the are you. You don't get it, man. You don't get it. I, I agree with you. You're right. Marriage is the best option. What I'm telling you is, it's like a sinking ship. The the women have have blown a hole in the ship. They, they've drilled a hole in the ship. The ship is sinking, but but you could you could still see the shore. You're two or three miles offshore. You could actually still you can jump ship and swim back to shore. But if you keep going out, if you keep going along with this, you're gonna they're, they're gonna go out to sea and you're gonna sink and you're gonna die. It, so marriage is, it is not worth it. It's just not so worth it, it anymore. To say, is it fair to say that these women that we have a problem with, most of them did not raise the father in the house? Uh yeah, yeah, I think increasingly, right? Yes, yes, increasingly that's the problem. Yeah. Okay. So then is it fair to say that now men are actually standing up to actually, you know, fighting for you know with uh, you know to have you know good relationship or great relationship with their partner and stuff like that right and the woman actually also fighting as well they both working towards our relationship is it fair to say that we are now producing better women for the next generation yes absolutely so like let's say you're you know uh your, your name is art and you told me you're from uh haiti and yeah. your wife is from poland and yeah. you guys i don't know if you have kids or not but let's say someday uh you yeah, have, we have Oh, you do have children. You do have children. Let's say you have a daughter. Yes, uh, statistically, uh, your daughter will end up being raised uh, uh, more properly. And I would define more properly as um, she's going to have a deeper sense of ethics. Uh, she's going to have a, a, a better. She's going <clears> to <throat> she's going to have a much, much more uh, uh, a much better developed super ego. Uh, what that means is basically she she won't be stuck in the ego. She won't be. Uh, primarily concerned with uh, only what is good for her, uh, she will actually care for others. Um, I wouldn't call it love, but again, you but, can you can you can you can look up the psychology of it. It's called the superego. It's the well, imposed the morals of society, now, and, and, that, and that's another, what the father gives. The father gives that. Here's another question for you, though, right? Here's another question for you, though, right? So then, is it fair to say that I'm preparing my daughter to be the best woman that she can be, but I also don't want her to deal with you know to end up with a uh with the type of men that are actually like that are you know very vindictive to actually see women as a problem okay so you see what i'm coming from right so that therefore not only that i am trying to make sure that my my daughter is not part of the statistic of you know vengeful bitter women and all that stuff but i'm also speaking to young men that are in that state, that, that that are in that red pill range, that are like you know, you know, that was dealt with some, you know, uh, you know, whether they were teenagers or their early twenties or like that, that 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 was hurt, right, by these women, and then now I'm also speaking to them to like the note that hey, listen, man, I understand some of these bras ain't crap, but you also have to develop your own sense of, uh, you know, morality or, or moral compass and then uh, and integrity, so that therefore when the right woman comes along, so then you can be assertive. Not an asshole, because there's a difference between being assertive or not an asshole. A lot of the th um, uh, uh, let me run off for a right? Oh, for instance, you mentioned Russia, right? And some of these third world countries that don't have the same type of um, police force or law that is like you know that is beneficial to women. But I'm telling you this: these countries, these third world or developing countries, if you put your hands on on your on, on one of these women and stuff like that, this, these women's family will then come after you. 
Right. So exactly, they might not have the police. They might not have the police on their side, right? But that's why they're very family bounded. If I put my hand on my right. girl and stuff like that, I don't gotta worry about the police. I gotta worry about her family. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Good point. You know? Good point. Yeah. 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 No. But, uh, absolutely. I'm gonna uh, stop for a minute because I'm gonna go soon. But uh, uh, okay. so go ahead. Uh, I want you to know. Uh, so, all right. Bye bye. Go ahead. Okay.